It's the middle of December right now and as you can see it's winter here in Canada and right now it's minus 13 and it's been snowing already for a couple of days. Yeah, there's lots of snow right now just like in the other video we did called Winter in Canada and in that one we showed you how we survive basically in these cold temperatures because a lot of people are surprised when it gets to minus 30 or minus 40 how we live but it's not that bad. But you also asked us to make a video about what to wear during the winter time in Canada. And especially if you're coming here on a vacation, how do you get those kind of clothes? So that's what this episode's all about. Winter in Canada is a beautiful season to visit, but for that you gotta be prepared. You gotta be prepared to buy the right clothes and wear the right clothes so you enjoy your visit and you're not freezing and you can stay warm the whole time. But also you gotta be prepared because very cold temperatures can lead to hypothermia, frostbite, you don't wanna lose yeah, any of your fingers, your toes, your ears or your nose and also it can lead sometimes to death bam, bam, bam. <laughs> which is not gonna happen it's really not that bad and that's why we're doing this video uh, but first there's some things that you need to know in advance so first things first you want to start with the weather forecast so of course that depends on where you're going for example in Vancouver it might be zero and raining whereas in Calgary it can be minus 25 and in the north it can be minus 50 so you definitely want to know where you're going and what the weather forecast is and also when you're there you definitely want to check it as well as it can change quite dramatically depending on where you are then of course number two would be activities you want to know what you're doing if you're just planning on exploring a city like toronto you might not need to dress as warm because we have heat in buildings everywhere. and cars and buses pretty much everywhere that's not outdoors will be warm but if you're going to be out skiing and stuff like that obviously you need to be dressed very warm and okay. have the, the proper gear and the third thing you need to know is your budget how much you want to spend because of course when you're coming uh, to, to a cold country and you usually come from a warmer country, probably all the clothes that you're gonna use for these holidays are gonna be just worn for your time here. And that can be very expensive. Like these kind of clothes can range from $100 up to $1,000. But there's so many options on where to get and how much to spend in this kind of clothes and gear. You can either buy them brand new from different retailers um, you can uh, get some secondhand uh, clothes or you can even rent them and sometimes also when you book a, an activity or a tour with a travel company sometimes they provide some of the gear if not all of the gear so also maybe make sure to know exactly what they provide and what you need to buy or wear and of course for each person it is different some people are, are warmer than others Carla is almost always cold. I'm <laughs> okay. relatively warm, although I think I'm getting colder <laughs> as I get older, especially in the winter. But yeah, it depends. Some people need more clothes than others. Yeah, like for example, Matthew grew up up in the north. Like where, like what's the average temperature? It was like minus 30 the whole time. Mm -hmm. And he winter. never, yeah, in the winter. And he never had like a proper winter jacket or winter pants. Like I, I don't know how he did it. I don't know either. Yeah, and like for example, my mom and my sister who come from Mexico, um, they don't have like hardcore winter clothes as we're usually not doing winter activities. And as Matthew mentioned, there's like kit everywhere. So you, you pretty much can sometimes like handle it with some clothes that you have back at home. So especially when you're not familiar with cold winters and with very cold temperatures, it can be a little bit overwhelming to know what to buy, where to buy us. There's so many options, there's so many pieces of clothing. So here are some tips that are gonna help you to maybe make a better decision or of what you need to buy. The first tip is to dress in layers because this way you can use different pieces of clothes to keep you warm and if you get too hot then you can take them off. And there's basically three layers. The first layer is the thermal underwear. As you can see what we're wearing here, it's very tight fitting. It goes against your skin and keeps the heat against your body. And then of course your socks which can be uh, anywhere from two pairs of regular socks to an actual good pair of warm socks. 
The second layer is going to be more of your regular clothes, like your jeans, a light sweater maybe, maybe a heavier sweater. Or a vest, whatever can keep you warmer, something that you can wear in between your first and your third layer. And last but not least, the third layer is the jacket. So if you're just going to be exploring cities and stuff like that, just the jacket is probably good enough. But if you're going to be going skiing or snowshoeing or anything involving snow, then you're going to add the snow pants. So I have like a ski jacket and my snow pants. I'm not having any um, second layer on, underneath my third layer, or, except for the vest. Uh, but this is going to keep me warm in a, for a longer period of time and it's going to keep me dry. But yeah, all this depends obviously on how cold it is. You know, if you're going skiing and it's minus 15 or something like that or colder, you definitely want everything that we mentioned. If you're just walking around the city, you might not want thermals because when you go inside, you're going to be very hot. So it all depends on what you're doing. But this is pretty much what we wear when we do outdoor activities. The second tip is to cover your whole body because believe it or not, when you keep your ears, your hands, and your neck and face warm, it makes total difference. It makes you feel more warm and more comfortable. Yes, yeah, so you definitely want to have a good pair of gloves. Your hands will definitely get cold, especially on windy days, and you use them a lot, so this will help a lot. Next up, your, of course, your ears are also very sensitive. So having a toque on like this, that's what we call it here. There's all different kinds of styles will help keep your ears and head warm. But if you want to show off your nice hairdo, <laughs> then you can wear earmuffs like this and they help as well. And another thing that I like to have with me the whole time is either a scarf or a neck warmer because also helps to get the heat trapped so then it doesn't escape and you feel warmer in the whole body. Mm -hmm. So these styles are more often used when you're skiing because then they, don't, they won't unwrap and sometimes they're not as, as thick but still, when you're going down the ski hills with the wind, it just helps you to cover your face. And if you're still cold after all that, maybe your <laughs> gloves or your... This one. Oh, well, tell them about this one. Well, before we get into these ones, this is called a balaclava. So if you really want to just keep all in one, yes, two usually in one. you only wear them skiing, but you could wear it anywhere you want. Yes, like a toque and a scarf together or a neck warmer together. You look like you're gonna probably go rob a bank, <gasps> but it does keep everything warm in one piece. But and it, after all that, if you're still cold, you can get these little things called little hotties or hot shots. There might be other names, but you open them, you shake them up. They're warm for like an hour or two and you can stick them in your shoes and your gloves. And the third tip is material, choosing the right material so you feel comfortable the whole time. So for sure you want something that's waterproof, especially on your outer layer, and especially if you're going to be spending time doing things like skiing or any other outdoor sports, so waterproof jacket, waterproof snow pants, and maybe even waterproof shoes. Another material which is important, especially for your first layer, is wool and polyester. And that's because they're, they're much better at retaining heat and getting dry so that's definitely not where you want to wear cotton as your first layer because cotton actually retains moisture and doesn't get dry so if you do sweat or get wet or anything like that you'll stay wet all day fleece and down are great heat insulators which we like to use in our second layer they're very warm as you can see this is what this is and they're very thin so they're not so bulky and then same with down as you can see here it's a very thin vest but it keeps you very warm and the only thing we'd like to say about that is just to make sure if you are choosing down to go with something more uh, sustainable because cheaper products tend to be made where they don't treat the geese very well. Yeah, so you can uh, find a lot of products made of fleece such as even toques and gloves which I love and for the down is mostly for jackets, vests, winter jackets especially if you're looking for a very warm winter jacket more in the casual side this is made of down and I really like it because it just keeps me super warm. If you're looking for brand new clothes, Walmart is a pretty good option because they have pretty nice low prices and you can find a Walmart anywhere in Canada. So let's check some prices. So here we have like some nice jackets, like different materials, different thicknesses. And this one, this one, like, look, it's very, like, 
Well, this one is kind of thin, but it's still like this one is $29.97. Then if we go to somewhere over here, which this jacket looks like it's pretty like a like kind of a water resistant. It seems quite chunky to keep you warm. This one is $74.97. So here you have like so many options of co coats for women, for a men for children and also they have some accessories so here we have like a, a lot of tuxes options as well which is and even gloves looks like 12 dollars these ones they're like 19 dollars this one will be more like a when you're doing like some uh, water sports have you want like more that water resistant uh, material and these ones are only Hey, where's the price? Oh, here. They're $17. So it's really not bad. I couldn't see any snow pants in the women's section, but this is the men's section, and here are some snow pants. So that's like the water resistant material that we told you about. And they're only $34. Here they also have a, a few options of thermals. So they're only $10. So watch, this ones. remember why we talk about the materials? like about more polyester or wool these ones are 60% cotton and 40% polyester so most likely if you're doing a winter sport like you know that you're gonna be sweating maybe they're not the best but as we mentioned if you're planning just like to uh, visiting be uh, cities or walking around in the city probably this is a good option just to have underneath your clothes and to stay warmer and now let's have a look to some uh, winter shoes so they have these boots which I think they're quite nice. They're actually pretty similar to any other uh, expensive brand. And here it says that they're good to minus 20 and they're $60. So they have like all these kind of like a like a rain boot and in the inside they have some fleece. So as you can see, prices are not as expensive here in Walmart and it's a pretty good option if you want to save some money and you're not thinking to wear them more than here in your holidays. So for higher quality stuff, a good place to come is Sport Check. They're all across Canada, so you'll easily find them. The prices are definitely higher than Walmart, but not all the time. They have really good sales here. But if you want super high quality stuff, for example, Hilly Hansen's a pretty high-end brand, but you're going to be paying $450 in this case but it's a good place you'll find everything here that you need here's snow pants for example these are about $200 but they go as about a low about a hundred bucks is probably the lowest you'll find them but you could tell if you go to the Walmart you'll see that these are much thicker but as you can see sometimes there's really good deals on high quality stuff too it's a bit thinner but it's Columbia really good brand and hundred bucks so here we are at the thermals again, the thermal underwear. As you saw in our at Walmart, they're about ten dollars. Here they're seventy. I guarantee you, they're much, much warmer. So if you're going to be outside lots and especially doing sports and want to make an investment in your winter clothing, this is a much better choice. So it's also a good place to buy winter boots. Columbia brand, as you can see, they have that silver lining, just like our thermal underwear. So I'm assuming they'd be quite warm. But there's other brands like Sorel and stuff as well. These are on sale right now, but like 100, 100 bucks, maybe 150 probably normally. I got these ones. And they were on sale for $60 in their North Face. So you never know what, what you're gonna find, but definitely higher quality here than at Walmart. And just as a reference, because I showed you the winter boots at Walmart, which were only $60. So this is a similar style, but it's a brand name, Sorel, and they're 169. However, as Matthew mentioned, quality is totally different. Another good thing about Sport Check is you can buy equipment here as well. So as you can see, skis, snowboards, boots, toques, everything you could pretty much need for the winter. And the nice thing, like I said, is you'll find them all over the place. Right now we're at Winners, which is pretty much an outlet store where you can find like brand names and save up to 60%. But definitely this place is more when you're looking more for those casual outdoor uh, clothing. So I love it because they can very, they have very trendy jackets and you can save lots of money. Like, so for example, this one is a Tommy Hilfiger, which the ori original price is, uh, was $200 and it's down to $150. So you're saving $50. And there's so many options. 
However, in this kind of places, you gotta be lucky. You gotta be lucky to find what you're looking for, your size, and something that you like. And same thing with the shoes. You can find more trendy winter shoes. Uh, but as well, there's not many options. Here they go by size. And you may like one of these and you may not. Uh, so besides this, there's other brands such as Marshalls. And I'm not sure if there's another one, but anyway, if you're thinking on just going around the cities, I think this is a pretty good option. So another option and probably the cheapest one is going to thrift stores. This is where you can find second-hand options. There's a variety of them. This one's the Salvation Army. There's also Value Village and depending on where you are, there might be others. Of course, the only difficulty here is finding what you need. You never know what you're going to find, but it is very cheap. So let's go see what we can find. So we're here at the women coat section and let's see with what we can find. So here is like an Under Armour ski jacket, which is only $20, so not bad. So here you can find all sorts of brands, sometimes brands that I didn't even know they existed. Um, then there's another one here, is Nike, another style, and it's $20, a little bit smaller. So as you can see, it's just like pick and choose. There's different colors, different styles, different brands. And you're looking at $20 on this. I saw some tooks over there for $4. And over there, I saw some ski pants. Let's go and check them out. And look what I found. I actually found a full ski suit, like jacket and matching pants. And each of them is $20. So see, you can sometimes get very good deals. And if you like it, and if it fits you well, it's pretty good. So now we're in the men's section. I haven't found anything I like, but that's part of the adventure of coming to thrift stores. You might find something you love, you might not. And the only other option we can think of is to, to rent stuff, but that's pretty hard. We haven't found too many options. But if we do find anything else, uh, after we post this video, we'll share it in the article. We hope that you found this video helpful and now it's easier for you to know how to get dressed for winter scene in Canada. And we're gonna have a written article as well on the website and that way if we find any new tips along the way, we'll be sure to add it there to help you out. And don't forget if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, and visit our website at mustbecanada.com. Until the next video!